I'm Houston Doherty, your Vice President for Student Affairs, and uh, those of us here at Hofstra miss you, and we miss the community that is the Hofstra Pride. Uh, know that even though uh, you're not able to be here with us on campus, there are many of us, uh, both on campus and connected um, uh, virtually, who want you to be successful and are here to help you in any way that we can. We have our Center for Academic Advising and our Center for Academic Excellence that are going to help you get through the things that you need for your coursework so that you can excel, so that you can learn, so that in this time you can have some semblance of normalcy in your academic pursuits. It's very important to us. Alongside that, we also will have our Student Health and Counseling Center to help you deal with what we're all dealing with, anxiety and, and concerns and all the issues that don't go away just because the campus goes virtual. Within my office, we have Student Advocacy and Prevention Awareness. It's a catch-all for you all. If there's any issue that you have, I just want to let you know any question can be answered. We'll do our best to get the answers to you quickly. We want to keep you all focused on the main thing, which is getting your amazing education from Hofstra and doing it in a way where you can still engage virtually and as fully as possible. In addition to all those services, we do want to let you know that our student access services for our students who need the most help in getting through this time of transition when it comes to their academics will be there to help. We'll be there to help virtually. We'll be there to help consistently. And I think that's what you all need to know. It's not changing. We're going to be here for you. Every question matters, and we'll do our best to answer them. Hofstra students make me proud every day, but I'll tell you, in the last few days, I've been particularly proud of our students who've stayed engaged, who've uh, been writing for the Chronicle online. I read a terrific editorial by our editor, Taylor, who talked about what she's going to miss this spring and how being engaged with the paper is, is creating a sense of community. The folks who are still broadcasting on WRHU, the ways that we're staying in touch with each other. Uh, we really encourage you to uh, follow student life on our social media. Encourage your families to follow parent and family programs in social media. Watch your Pride email because that's the one way we know we can get important messages to you. So just like we want to hear from you, we want you to be looking for messages from us. This is a new world for all of us, and we cannot tell you how much we appreciate your understanding and your patience and your resilience as we figure out how to make the Hofstra community a virtual one for the rest of the semester. Uh, one of the things we love is being together, and we're going to have to figure out a new way of being together. Uh, so we appreciate uh, you being patient with us as we figure out how to make that work best. Go Pride!